Hello, in this video, we are going to focus on division. We are going to solve word problems together. We are going to solve these problems using partial quotients, and we are going to check our work using multiplication. The first problem here says a pizza store had 92 pieces of pepperoni to put on their pizzas. If each pizza got six pieces, how many extra pieces of pepperoni would they have? So before we start solving anything, let's go through this one more time and figure out some of my key information. A pizza store had 92 pieces of pepperoni. Well, 92 is my dividend. And I know I have a dividend here. That's a, telling me, okay, I'm going to do some type of division here. And I know we're going to be doing division because it says if each pizza got six pieces, each, that's my key word for division. I'm breaking things into equal groups. And we want each pizza or each group is going to get six pieces. Now notice I'm tearing this word problem apart. I'm recognizing that I'm going to be doing division. But notice here, we do need to find a quotient. But my question asks me, how many extra pieces of pepperoni would they have? Well, extra is a keyword for remainder. So that means we will have a remainder in this problem. We don't know what yet. We do need to solve and find the quotient before we figure out how much is left over. So to fully solve this problem, we have 92 divided by six. It's always beneficial to write out your work so that way you can confirm you will have the right answer by showing your work so no silly mistakes occur. Let's do the first step in green. I'm gonna take a look at just the nine. Six times what number gets me close to or exactly to nine? Well, six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Well, that's way too big. So let's do six times one. Six times one is six. And I'm gonna fill in my space here with a zero and one more zero outside of my line. Now notice here, we have part of my answer is 10 times six is 60. That's telling me, wow, I can create 10 groups of six, but let's subtract and see if I can keep making groups of six. So now I have 32. Well, wow, I have 32 pieces of pepperoni left. I can keep making more groups of six. So let's determine how many more groups of six I can make. Well, six times what number gets me close to or exactly the 32? Well, let's see, six times four is 20. Four, six times five is 30, six times six is 36. Oh wait, that's way too big. So let's do six times five. Six times five is 30. And notice that got me close to or exactly to 32. So let's subtract to determine if I need to keep making more groups of six. When I subtract, I'm only left with two. So I'm done, I know I'm finished. My remainders less than my divisor, which is also telling me I can't make another group of six. So now to find my final answer, I'm going to take everything on the side. And I have 10 plus 5, which is 15. So 15 is my quotient, and I have a remainder of 2. Now, to confirm that what I did, I did all this hard work, let me do this in blue. And I'm going to confirm that I did this correctly. So I'm going to take my quotient of 15, and I'm going to multiply it by my divisor. So 15 times 6. Let's see what happens. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 90. And now I can't forget that I have 90 plus my remainder. So again, I took my quotient times my divisor. Then if I have a remainder, I add my remainder to that product. Now I'm going to add this together and I get 92. And I'm like, yes, what I did is correct. How do I know that? Because I got my dividend. That means what I did is correct. All this hard work I did is right. Now we're almost there. You did the hard work, you solved, you found the quotient, you found the remainder. When we're given any type of word problem, you always need to reread it and see, can I answer my question in the word problem? So here it says, how many extra pieces of pepperoni would you have? So extra pieces, well, how many extra pieces would I have? Let me go back to my answer. 15, well, no, that's telling me each, I have, 15, no, 15 groups of six. 
but that included all the pepperoni. But I noticed that there was two pieces that were extra and fit. So my answer to this problem is just two pieces of pepperoni. So only two is your answer. Yes, you needed to do this division. Find two. That to figure out that you have two pieces left over. But if you had a multiple choice question, the answer would just be two. It wouldn't be 15. It wouldn't be 15 remainder two. It would only be two. So for those of you who are experts at doing partial quotients already, and you're doing such a great job, continue to practice. We can always get better. But it's also important now to challenge yourself. Try some word problems. Try some of these and figure out, wow, I see extra pieces. I need to go back and reread that problem and make sure I answer it fully. Because if you don't go back to reread this, you do all that hard work and you put the wrong answer, the problem is wrong. So it's always important to go back and reread your work. Now we have another problem. This one's a great problem. This one says an art museum had 87 pictures to split equally. Wow, split equally into, into seven different exhibits. So seven different exhibits, seven different groups. Those are keywords for division. How many more pictures would they need to make sure each exhibit had the same amount? How many more pictures? Wow, I don't even think they're asking for the remainder or the quotient, but it sounds like we're going to have to use that information in my answer. So let's first determine what I need to do here. Let's first divide, and then we can use whatever I figure out from division to help me solve this problem. We have 87 pictures. That is my dividend. I'm going to divide this because it's telling me, well, they want to know split equally into seven different exhibits. That's my divisor. Now let's find my quotient. Maybe there's a rem remainder. We don't know. We'll find out. Let's see. So now I'm going to set this up. I have 87 divided by seven. I'm going to get ready for partial quotients. Just like the last problem, seven times what number gets me close to or exactly to just eight? Well, seven times one is seven. Wow, that gets me really close. So seven times one is seven. I'm going to fill in my missing space with one, zero, and one, zero. And this is confirming that 10 times seven is 70. So now let's subtract. And that's going to tell us, can we keep making more groups of seven? So I get 17. I have 17 items left or 17 pictures. I can keep making more groups of seven. So let's see. Seven times what number gets me really, really close to 17? Well, let's go through my seven times tables. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 18. Well, that's way too big. So seven times two is 14. Now let's subtract. When I subtract, I'm left with three. Now I know I'm finished, my remainder is less than my divisor, and notice we can't make any more groups of seven, we are done. But before we are done, we declared we have a remainder. Now let's add everything on the side to find my quotient. So we have 10 plus two, which is 12. So now I have an answer of 12, remainder three. As always, I'll do this in green. Let's just confirm that I did all this work, let's confirm that I'm correct. I'm going to take my quotient of 12 and multiply it by my divisor of 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. So now I see I have a remainder. So I'm going to take my product of 84 and I'm going to add it to 3. And I'm left with 87. And I'm super happy because 87 is my dividend. That means what I did is correct. So all of this hard work that I did is right. So now I can always go back and I encourage everyone always, you do all this great work, but you need to go back to your word problem. Now it's time to read at what is left over. So many of you are experts at this and this is fabulous, but now you're soon gonna be given a little bit more and you have to go back and reread that word problem. Make sure you answered it because 12 remainder three, the whole thing might not be our whole answer. So it says, how many more pictures would they need to make sure each exhibit had the same amount? So 
So they're telling us that each exhibit would get 12 pictures, but then there's three left over. And instead they want each exhibit to have the exact same amount. So it's almost asking us, okay, we have these three, one, two, three left over. We wanna make a whole nother group and give each exhibit another one. Um, and we wanna give each of those exhibits, so it says pictures is split equally into seven different exhibits. So if we have seven exhibits, we wanna give each exhibit another picture. But the problem is we can only give three exhibits a picture. Well, how many more pictures do we need? So each exhibit gets another picture. Well, let's see, I'll do this in red. So if we have three pictures left over, so this goes to one exhibit, this goes to another exhibit, this goes to my third exhibit, this goes to my fourth exhibit, my fifth exhibit, my sixth exhibit, and my seventh exhibit. So notice we know that there's seven different exhibits. So we had three left over, but we also needed to add four more pictures, allowing each exhibit to have the same amount. So this means that somebody is willing to donate another four pictures. So my answer to my problem when it asks how many more pictures would they need to make sure each exhibit had the same amount? Well, they would need four pictures. Now notice four is not my quotient. It's not my remainder. But I interpreted this division problem help me answer this question. I needed to complete this division problem to answer this question. Without determining my quotient of 12 and my remainder of three, I would be unable to figure this out, amount out. So now, once you are done doing the division, I want you to think about and go back and reread your problems and make sure you answered all the questions. Because yes, division, you need to know how to do it because using division will help answer and solve many other problems. Not just quickly doing 87 divided by seven, you have to also be able to interpret what this means, what are we doing, and what does my quotient and my remainder mean? Can I use that information to now help me ultimately answer the question to the final problem? And in fact, I was able to use this information figure out the answer to my question, telling me that we need to add in four more pictures so every exhibit could have exactly the same amount. So as the week continues, I encourage you to continue practicing using partial quotients. I encourage you to continue practicing division. But now when you get a quotient and a remainder, I want you to always look back at that original problem and make sure that you're using that information to answer the question that was really asked for this problem. And you are going to learn that division is very, very important. And hopefully over time, you will enjoy using division. And you will recognize that division is used in many ways of life to help you solve all different types of problems. So as always, you can rewatch this video at any time on my YouTube channel, and I encourage you to use this video to help you with any problems that you may be having.